Hello, everybody. Miss D here. I'm here to talk about Project 2016, and I actually keyed in some of the information on page 70 in your step-by-step -step, um, Microsoft Project 2016 book. And I am now on page, let me get the correct page, um, 72. I made the milestone, so you see the milestone. So, first of all, you have to start with the correct file. So, I put a file in... Um, your web study make sure you're starting with that file because if you're not starting with that file it you may it may not come out exactly right um because if i go to the backstage view and my computer is a little slow so just hang in there with me i go to information and i go to project information i say advanced properties right and i'm going to look at the properties it's already set up Okay, so we want to make sure that we are in the right uh, data file, first of all. Even though it's a blank data file, this data file is set up for this assignment. So make sure you're in the correct data file. Now, I'm adding my summary task. And what I'm seeing is it says make public launch task um, the summary of task 5. So I'm going to highlight everything below a four because the public launch is the summary and I'm going to the task tab and I'm clicking on indent okay so this is my summary tab and it rolls up so that's correct now I have to make a summary tab at the top so in order for me to get space at the top I'm going to right click and on my sub menu I'm clicking insert so in the insert tab, I'm going to type in planning phase. Okay, and my planning phase is supposed to include um, tabs two and three and four as a summary task. So I'm going to make sure it's a summary task. And so there you go. I have, if I go view and say entire project, I can see that this is a summary task. This is a summary task as well. So planning phase will roll up and public phase will roll up okay so that is how it's supposed to be so um our next step was let me just take this out okay my next step was to um enter an id the task id in the predecessor field okay so i need to link these two tasks two and three together now I can link them this way by highlighting them, going to my task tab and clicking on link. Okay, it gives me a two because uh, task two is when task two finishes, task three begins. So that's correct. But I'm going to undo this because your book is asking you to do it a different way. So your book is asking you to double click on t uh, your third task. You're going to double click on it. You're going to get your task information box. You're going to click on the predecessor. And what you're going to do here is um, the task name. You want to link task 3 to task 2. So you want to actually be in task 3, but then assign task 2 to it. Um, finish to start. I believe they asked for finish to start. Okay, and there you go. It looks the same exact way. So if I undo this. And I say link, it's the same thing, okay? It's just different ways to do the same exact thing, all right? And you see it says in your book your um, task 3 will have 1, 9, and it does. It has 1, 9 as a start and finish date. So I hope that um, answers some of your questions, and I will put another uh, video out to finish this, well, not to really finish it up, but to finish um, up page 73 because that's where most of the questions were. All right, talk to you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.